So you're planning a move to Sunrise, Florida, and you want to know what all the locals do to have fun. Now, being called the Sunshine State and having pretty much beautiful weather year-round, there's always something to do down here in South Florida 24-7. So if you want to know what those things are, stick around. What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel living in Fort Lauderdale. My name is Rob Zioli and I'm a local real estate right down here in South Florida. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and tap that little bell icon to be notified anytime I go ahead and make a new video. I put out weekly videos and content about what it's like to live and play right down here in sunny South Florida. But more than that guys, I'm a local real estate agent and absolutely love to help people with their real estate needs. So if that's you and you have any questions whatsoever about the real estate market down here in South Florida, my information is popping up down below. You can reach me by phone, by text, you can comment down below. I am the person that answers all inquiries directly. I'm available 24 seven and cannot wait to hear from you. So let's get right into it and talk about all the fun things to do while living down here in Sunrise, Florida. So you've done your research and you have an idea or kind of a picture in your head about what it would be like to live down here in Sunrise, Florida and how it may be different from say Fort Lauderdale or Plantation or Coral Springs or Davie. And the truth is they're all different to some degree as far as living in those particular neighborhoods. Now this is one of the main reasons that we ask a ton of questions when we get calls from people that are looking to relocate down to anywhere here in the greater Fort Lauderdale area. And the real uh, reason we do that is because it really comes down to lifestyle and what's really important to you as far as the neighborhood that you want to live in. Do you want to be, um, you know, in a more secluded or less congested area or do you like more of a city vibe? So the great news about that is, is that Broward County or Greater Fort Lauderdale is really not that big. In fact, it's only 20 miles from its furthest point east to west and about 25 miles north and south. So really everything that we speak about today, you know, regarding all the fun things to do in Sunrise really pertains to the whole county or the Greater Fort Lauderdale area because everything is really so tight. So it's really no secret that uh, Florida is called the Sunshine State and um, we live in a place where people come from all over the world to vacation in. And really one of the main reasons for that is our weather and tropical climate. So we're gonna jump right in with number one on the list of fun things to do, and that is the beaches. So all you really have to do is point yourself east from any of the cities here in Broward County or Greater Fort Lauderdale, and you will wind up eventually at one of our beautiful beaches. It'll take you minutes and maybe 25 to 30 minutes from the furthest west portion of anywhere here in the county. So we have about 24 miles of beautiful beaches all the way up the east side of Broward County. Now starting right at the tip of Miami-Dade County, you have Hallandale Beach, then Hollywood Beach, Dania Beach, Fort Lauderdale Beach, which is famous for spring break, Pompano Beach, Hillsborough Beach, and Deerfield Beach. Now each one of these beaches is a little different, but they're all absolutely gorgeous. Now again, Fort Lauderdale is uh, world known for spring break and also has a variety of sophisticated hotels, incredible restaurants, and lively bars. Now you can always pop into any one of the Fort Lauderdale Beach hotels for a drink and a great meal. Now a couple of trendy spots is the W Fort Lauderdale, the Ritz Carlton, and the Western Fort Lauderdale Beach Resort. Now the W is home to Steak 954, which is an incredible steakhouse, while the Ritz's Burlock Coast hosts an incredible brunch. Now you could also visit the Lona Cachina Tequileria. I don't know if I said that, and that's at the Western uh, Beach Resort, and they have incredible, incredible Mexican food. Now up at Hillsborough Beach, they have a historic lighthouse where you can actually take a tour of it and climb up. It's, I think it's like 175 steps to the top where you can see some world-class and amazing ocean views from the top. Now, if you happen to come down between March and October, you might even get a glimpse of the, uh, the sea turtle nests that are in the sand during that time of the year. Now, Deerfield Beach has a very popular international fishing pier. Uh, you can rent a, a rod there and fish with some of the locals as well. Now this is gonna bring us to number two on the list of most fun things to do, and that is boating and fishing. 
So the greater Fort Lauderdale area is uh, laced with about 3,000 miles of uh, waterways and about 50,000 resident yachts. It's also known as the Venice of America. Now, Greater Fort Lauderdale is one of the few areas in the world where you have both freshwater and saltwater fishing within 20 minutes of each other. Now, in addition to more than 200 species of fish that you can catch in the county's freshwater lakes, there are deep water fishing fleets located in Deerfield Beach, Pompano Beach, Lauderdale by the Sea, and Dania Beach, and also in each of the six cities that lines the Atlantic coast. Now, if you're not into fishing, that's fine. You could still rent a boat and visit the Fort Lauderdale sandbar. Now it's extremely common that on any Saturday or Sunday, uh, you can visit the sandbar and there's hundreds and hundreds of boats that are anchored there. The water is about knee high, so you can spend your day picnicking really on the water. In the water or on your boat and uh, very, very common to see all the boats out there uh, cooking uh, and sipping cocktails and just enjoying the beautiful Atlantic Ocean and South Florida sun. Now the third fun thing on the list is casinos and gambling. So Greater Fort Lauderdale has about eight or nine casinos, so there's really uh, something close at any time when the urge arises. Now the big daddy of them all is the Seminole Hard Rock Casino right in Hollywood, Florida. Now this place is absolutely amazing. It has a new 42,000 square foot spa, 13.5 acres of recreational water space, state-of-the-art entertainment, retail shops, and much, much more. I mean, they really have it all. An incredible hotel, casino, world-class dining, top-notch entertainment, great shows, and numerous bars and lounges. Now you could book a trip to the Seminole Hard Rock Casino and never leave the compound and have an amazing, amazing time and always have something to do. Now the fourth thing on the list of fun things to do in and around the Sunrise Florida area is sunset cruises. So you can take a beautiful sunset cruise on a very comfortable catamaran as you cruise multi-million dollar yachts and millionaires row. While viewing the mega mansions of the rich and famous and some of Fort Lauderdale's most prestigious real estate while sipping cocktails. Now one of the most famous river boats is called the Jungle Queen and they've been giving locals and tourists um, you know, sunset uh, cruises and tours since 1935. Now they take you on a fully narrated tour uh, down the Venice of America or Millionaire's Row, you know, viewing all the beautiful yachts and real estate in Fort Lauderdale. The cruise then takes you to your own private tropical isle where you have an all-you-can-eat buffet with seafood, ribs, chicken, and then you're treated to a very, very entertaining variety show. After the show, you board the ship for a beautiful cruise back down the New River to the Bahia Mar Yachting Center. Now, the fifth fun thing to do here in Sunrise and Greater Fort Lauderdale is all the activities available to you at one of the incredible parks uh, throughout the county. Now, there's over 50 uh, parks throughout Broward County and Greater Fort Lauderdale. All of them are a little bit different or offer something a little bit different, but I definitely recommend you check out Markham Park right here in Sunrise, Florida. Now, I recently did an entire video just on Markham Park, and you can check it out right here. There'll be a link popping up. Now, Markham Park is absolutely incredible. It's not uncommon for thousands and thousands of people to be here on any given Saturday or Sunday. Now, Markham Park is a 669 acre park right here in Sunrise, Florida. It's home to an outdoor rifle and pistol range, um, an archery range if you like to shoot a bow and arrow. It has some very, very popular and extensive mountain bike trails. The Fox Observatory campgrounds, you could actually pull an RV in there and camp out. They have uh, hookups for water and electric. A radio controlled airplane field. Um, now this is really cool. A lot of people go there just to watch this, but uh, they have all these different runways and dedicated airspace where people fly these model airplanes and helicopters. And I'm talking big, huge, like three, four foot models. It also has a, a huge, very popular dog park called Barkham Park. Numerous jogging trails, fishing and boating areas, uh, a boat ramp, 
so you can launch your boat and go fishing, sports fields of all kinds, nature trails, skeet and trap shooting, and much more. Now this park is an absolute must visit and it's right here in Sunrise, Florida. Now the sixth thing on our list, which is not on my list, is the Miami shopping tour. So this might be for some people, it's certainly not for me, but if you're into shopping, have at it. Now this is a major shopping tour, which is about eight hours and it hits all the major shopping uh, malls and centers in Miami, including the Miami Design District, the very popular Aventura Mall. And at some point during the tour, you wind up right back here in Sunrise where you can spend three full hours at the Sawgrass Mills Mall. Wow. So for those of you out there that do not know this, the Sawgrass Mills Mall is the largest retail shopping destination in the entire country. Now the Sawgrass Mills Mall has over 350 stores, including Nike, Ralph Lauren, Saks Fifth Avenue, Bed Bath & Beyond, Target, Marshalls, Brands Mart. It also has some very high-end retailers as well, numerous restaurants. You can find everything here from fashion and jewelry to sporting equipment to electronics, beauty products, home accessories, and kids toys. And to top off the list today with number seven would have to be an airboat ride. So Everglades Holiday Park is located right here in South Florida and is a top attraction for both locals and tourists. It's perfect for kids and adults of all ages. So by visiting Everglades Holiday Park, you can board one of their state-of-the-art uh, vessels for an unforgettable Everglades airboat ride. And upon returning, you can watch a live alligator presentation featuring the Gator Boys Alligator Rescue Team in their world-famous Gator Pit. Now I think the airboat ride is about an hour long. It takes you deep, deep into the Everglades where you come face to face with some of the Everglades most unusual animals and you can lock eyes with the incredible American alligator. So I wanna thank you for watching the video about some fun things to do while living here in Sunrise, Florida. And speaking of living here in Sunrise, Florida or anywhere here in South Florida, we would absolutely love to help you with your real estate needs or to help you find that perfect place you might be thinking of moving to or just wanna go visit. But again, in order to do that, guys, you got to reach out. So again, my information is in the pop up down below. You can get in contact with me any way that you like, whichever is your preferred method of communication. I'm open 24 seven and look forward to hearing from you and helping you with all your real estate needs. And until the next time, I appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next video.